As the search for Jeremy Jourdain nears the one month mark, efforts to locate the missing Cass Lake teen continue. A Josh Peterson has more on how the search has changed. Since November 1st, searches conducted on land, in the water, and in the air have turned up nothing in the search for 17 year old Jeremy Jourdain. Over the weekend, a canine unit was brought in and searched the south shoreline of Lake Bemidji and the east side of Lake Irving, while the St. Louis County Sheriff's Office brought in and utilized a side scan sonar unit, which examined the bottom of both lakes. They spent the majority of Sunday out on Lake Bemidji and on Lake Irving, scanning the bottom, looking for any signs uh, that might help us answer the question where Jeremy is. While the canine and the side scan sonar turned up nothing on either of the two lakes, the search for Jeremy Jourdain continues with a new effort on revisiting other sources of information. The investigation is moving more into the stages of follow-up or readdressing maybe some people that we talked to early on in the beginning and re-engaging them in conversation to see if anything has changed or any uh, any new developments have occurred. While the investigation revisits old leads, the amount of new leads has decreased. That is why the Bemidji Police Department stresses that any information could be crucial in finding Jeremy. You know, we continue to encourage people that may be hearing things that they call in and give us tips to follow up on so we can uh, uh, keep addressing issues that come up and that we can keep following up and maybe uh, locate Jeremy Jordan. As the calendar approaches the one month mark since Jeremy has gone missing, the public can help by searching their property, not only in the area between Bemidji and Cass Lake, but throughout all of the Bemidji area. In Bemidji, I'm Josh Peterson, Lakeland News. And if you have any tips about Jeremy or know where, of, of his whereabouts, you're asked to contact Law Enforcement Center in Bemidji at 218-333-9111. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.